about foundation. The most frequently asked question that we get in our shops is, have you got, could you show me a really good foundation? Now, I think the answer to that really depends on several things to do with your skin. We have two weights of foundation, and this morning I'm going to talk to you about the lightest one, which is a, a little bit more than a tinted moisturiser, because it's a, a BB cream, and a bit less than a full cover foundation. Now, if you look at my skin, I've at the moment, I've got no foundation on whatsoever. I have applied skincare, so I've got our Hydration Hold Serum, and I've also got our um, Face the Day day cream moisturizer on but my skin is quite uneven as you can see I've got an age spot there and one there along with various moles that I've got on my face at the moment I've got a spot there and maybe one there and my skin generally if you look at it is quite uneven um, it's not as bad as it used to be when I had very very significant acne rosacea but it's still what I would say quite blotchy. Now, during the summer months, I quite like to have a light look beauty balm uh, to use because there's no question that in hotter weather, a light look beauty balm is a nice thing to wear on your skin and it also looks, um, it looks really good. However, for me, the coverage is not necessarily sufficient. Now in terms of, of colours, let's get this up the right way, we have three and as you can see they are tinted so they are actually, they, they've actually got definitely got colour in them. So this is our number one, that's two and that's three. Now if you're choosing a colour of our Light Look Beauty Balm, how do you choose? Well let me help you. I would say that most of you, 80% as, as much as that, will be perfectly suited if you wear the one, which is what I'm going to apply in a minute. If you've got a slight tan, then this one is going to work really well for you. Remember that this isn't anything like the density of colour that you're going to get on your face because you're going to spread it over quite lightly and so it's not going to look as dark as this. If you've got a very, very decided tan, or very definitely a darker skin tone, then the three will probably be, be perfect for you. But my advice and guidance, if you're hesitating about which one to buy, I would say buy the one, O1, because I think you'll find that that will work best on you. And especially as we go into the winter time, that would definitely be what the one to choose. If you've got white Caucasian skin in winter time, then the O1 is going to suit you best. Another little tip, um, we've, these are airless pumps, which means that the, the product is pushed up from the bottom um, like that, so that you get every scrap of it out. But sometimes you have problems with um, actually getting it out of the tube. So let me give you a tip. When you get your uh, new beauty balm, just unscrew the cap. It's got a little thing in it like that. And just push the air out of the tube like that. Just push the air out so that the product comes to the top of the tube and then replace the cap and then you'll find you won't have any squirty mess going on. Um, and once you've done it once, you don't have to do it again. So I'm going to put some of this on the back of my hand. About the amount that I think I'm going to use and I'm going to apply it with a foundation brush so I'm going to swirl it into the product and then as usual as you would expect I'm going to start from the center of my face and start to spread it evenly over so you will see that this is more than a tinted moisturizer so it's going to do a fairly good job of using my of, um, unifying my skin tone and certainly if you've got less blotchy skin than mine, and many women have, then this is perfect for you. I'd also say that about, or oh, a good 80% of the people that come in for makeovers, they will request a lighter look, and we will put on them the Light Look Beauty Balm. We'll use the Light Look Beauty Balm on them, because most of the women that come in say, I don't want to look heavily made up. So if you're in a bit of a quandary between our continuous cover foundation 
and something which you uh, prefer to be nearer to a tinted moisturiser, then this is the answer for you. And you can see that now I've applied it, it hasn't covered my spot up, but it has done quite a good job of unifying my skin tone. So it's gone on beautifully. It's a very light, creamy product. It really is delightful to use and it is really very easy to apply. So let me just make sure that that's combined. And you can see that although it looks uh, on that piece of paper that I showed you, it looked quite dark, because I'm spreading it quite lightly, it isn't dark at all when you get it on the skin. So just remember, O1 is what I've got on. Perfect if you, uh, like me, um, don't have very much in the way of a, of, a, of a tan and you just want to get a beautiful light coverage of a unifying foundation. O2 if you've got a slight tan and O3 if you definitely have an outdoor life um, or your skin tone is not, um, is not particularly pale so that you need something a bit stronger. But the default for most of us is the O1. Now, what I would do after that, if you have got the odd blotch and so on and so forth, is just to add a little bit of concealer. So I can cut now cover, if I want to, my age spots. I can make them disappear by using concealer. And I'm actually using our O2 concealer to go with the O1 Light Look Beauty Balm, and then that trick of, of pushing the concealer into the corner of the eyes and under the eyes, anywhere where you think you need a bit of extra help. Like that. Uh, so I think that's done a pretty good job now of getting rid of any of those areas that I'm not so happy with in terms of blotches and, and uh, discoloration and so on, a bit of under eye and so on. So that's gone and I think, I think that's it. I feel now that my skin does look, let me check in my mirror here, my skin does now look unified and, um, and good enough really uh, in terms of having covered, uh, unified the skin tone and with that bit of extra concealer I have actually covered those, those age spots and blotches that I've got. So I do hope that was useful. If you are reluctant to buy a foundation or wear a foundation but you like the idea of unifying your skin tone, then I would suggest our Light Look Beauty Balm. Here it is. Our Light Look Beauty Balm would be perfect for you and you would need O1 if you've got skin roughly the same colour as mine. O2, if you've still got a summer tan and you would like to enhance that. And O3, if you've got definitely got quite a, 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 um, a decided tan or you have um, a skin tone that requires something a bit darker. So I do hope that was helpful. Um, and as I said, it's a beautiful product. And I hope if you do uh, buy it that you really enjoy using it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.